everyone, my name is Amel and you're watching Newsbreak, coming up on today's show. Bitcoin becomes legal currency in El Salvador. TikTok beats out YouTube. And the world's best employee. But before we get into anything, why don't you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our amazing videos. Grab your digital wallets because El Salvador has just become the first country to accept Bitcoin as legal currency. As of today, residents can pay for things using the cryptocurrency, but many people there aren't happy about it. Here's Kale. In the middle of Central America, El Salvador has gone digital. In the words of their president, the country has made history, becoming the first in the world to make Bitcoin legal tender, which means residents can use the cryptocurrency to buy anything, from a cup of coffee to a flash new car. The country has been busy installing these Bitcoin ATMs to buy and sell the cryptocurrency, but don't expect everyone to be using them. There have been big protests in the streets of El Salvador, with many residents unhappy about the new currency. No, I'm Bitcoin! Lots of people are confused about how to all work and say Bitcoin's unpredictability could be really bad for the economy. This is Bitcoin's value over the last year, and these massive rises and then falls in price is what people are really worried about. About 25% of El Salvador's citizens live in the USA and send billions of US dollars back home every year. The government says that with Bitcoin as one of its currencies, this can be done much faster and cheaper. But just as El Salvador launched its new currency, Bitcoin had a massive drop in price. And Chivo, an app launched by the government for people to access their Bitcoin, had to be taken offline. But with other countries thinking about a move to crypto, this could just be the start. 24 hours. That's how long American TikTok users are spending on the app every month. If that sounds like a lot, it's because it is. According to new research, people on TikTok now spend more time each month on the platform than YouTube users do on YouTube. We're only talking about America here, but in the UK, the difference is even bigger with TikTok firmly on top. Now to the US Open, where teenagers have been absolutely dominating the tournament. Leela tells us more about them. Yes, there's been so many teenagers dominating the US Open lately. It could almost be a teen tennis drama. Previously on Centre Court, they all made it to the quarterfinals. 18-year-old Spaniard Carlos Alcaraz defeated Peter Goyovchik in the fourth round to become the youngest male quarterfinalist at the US Open in 58 years. It's amazing. For, for me, it's uh, a dream come true. He didn't make it any further in the tournament, but Leila Fernandez has. She defeated Alina Stadolina in the quarterfinals, and that wasn't her only reason to celebrate. Just an FYI, it was her birthday yesterday. She turned 19. The world number 73 left-handed player is not American, but Canada was close enough for fans. The New York crowd cheering me on, fighting for me. And for Emma Raducanu, seeing the success of these two motivated her. I mean, it definitely plays a part in motivation. She defeated Shelby Rogers in the fourth round. I'm so happy to have managed to come through and overcome some of the nerves at the beginning. The 18-year-old British tennis player was cheered on by fellow Brit, former US Open champion Virginia Wade. Thank you so much for watching my match. And you're an absolute legend, so I'm really honoured to have had you here. But now it's a chance for Emma and Layla to make history themselves. So stay tuned. Now we're going to meet the most popular employee at a hospital in Tasmania. Why? Well, he's pretty special. Everybody loves Gilbert. I have to add on 10 minutes to any journey I do around the hospital so that I can stop and say hello with Gilbert. He was originally trained as a guide dog, but has trouble with his back legs. So Gilbert's been given a new home and a new job that he's poor fit for. Calming down both patients and workers as a therapy dog at Launceston General Hospital. He seems to love it. I mean, he jumps in the car and he has his down days, but we all do, don't we? 
Guide Dogs Tasmania is hoping there will be more opportunities for dogs like Gilbert to put a smile on people's faces. But for now, it's time for a well-earned rest. Alright sweet, that's all from us, but before you go, why don't you hit that subscribe button and we'll catch you here, same place, same time tomorrow.